We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. I think I'm a lover boy. Okay, baddies. So, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I almost didn't start the video because I was like, bitch, I look a horrible ass mess. I wait till I get home and can do my edges. But I want my content to be realistic and authentic. So, y'all gonna see me with my edges looking like. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> um, hold on, wait. Okay, y'all. So, like I was saying, um, your girl looks that hot ass mess, but I'm gonna get into all that. I decided to vlog because I'm just gonna have a cute next couple of days and I just want to vlog. So, yeah. I'm just gonna kind of go with the flow. I don't really know when I'm gonna stop it, but I do have some things planned for this video. Ma'am. I'm gonna probably see y'all when I get home because she's crying. Y'all gonna show me. So, Nova hates, absolutely hates being in the car when the car not moving. And she was asleep when I put her in her um, car seat, but obviously she done woke up. Um, but yeah, I just moved in line. So, she said hell no. She said hell no. We are going back to my house for the weekend. Um, it's Father's Day. Um, Zay's family is having like a Father's Day cookout tomorrow. So my family came down and they're gonna see Nova. And yeah, so I just thought it'd be a good idea to vlog. And I wanna do a closet clean out. I really wanted to start yesterday, but that was not gonna happen. Um, Zay went down early and so it's just been me and Nova and it's so hard trying to get stuff done when you don't have help. I have to give a salute to all the single moms out there because that shit is hard and that just makes me appreciate Zay so much more because literally I can't get much done when I have her by myself. That is why your girl did not do her edges because I already knew like she don't like to be um, laying down or put down if she not sleeps. So that's why I was just trying to rush or whatever. I am stopping at Starbucks right quick to get me a little snacky snack because all I had today was some pretzels. Um, my auntie told me she was gonna cook i don't know if she's cooking tonight or tomorrow but yeah hopefully i can eat something heavier later on because literally i ain't really eat much today but yes i just want to open up this video oh yeah if you're new here sorry for the weird angle my name is bubbles it's up baddie and yeah i hope you have a fun time here if you do make sure you stick around and subscribe i want to show this man i think i seen him before hello can y'all can't even see yeah what the fuck I am ready to be going home. Y'all don't know how, like, I've been up since, what, like, 11 trying to clean up the house. I have really been getting into a good habit of before I leave, um, before I leave my house, I clean it up. So, yeah. Thank you. All right, y'all. So, I just got me a little ham and Swiss, um, croissant, and then strawberry acai refresher and i usually always get with apple juice and peach juice but this time i just decided to get apple juice with raspberry syrup just because somebody told me um to get that and so usually i get that whenever they um don't got peach but i actually like really like it now i don't know if it's gonna be my new favorite but yeah i just decided to switch it up and get that today where that man went at bro i really want to show y'all him he just like disappeared I don't know. If I see him, I'm going to show y'all him because y'all just got to see. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going to see y'all when I get home, okay? Okay. You think you Kev, Dolo, whatever his name is, so bad. All right, y'all. It's the next day. Me and Zay finna go get some. And for you two. Oh, yeah. For Father's Day and cook 
out in the day and we'll still class and clean out. I don't know what I'm saying today. But we finna get some food and we finna go to the events because both of us gotta return some shoes. And we're going to Walmart too. Walmart and get some wings. Get some wings and some peach cobbler mix. And I'm probably getting some drinks. But yeah, I'm gonna show you whenever we get some and go to the stores. So you better return some green beans. I'm finna return with them shoes. Yeah, we made the hood, and I love um I love my camera. So the quality not gonna be eight one, but yeah, we made it here. It's so fucking hot. Damn, bro. I did. It's our last time seeing me got the bomb, bro. It just look crusty. I ain't even sure. They got his little hair done, child. Now people gonna say he got ugly girls, and he look good. I ain't say ugly. It's yeah, she's like a bomb. And he look like all fresh and stuff. Like a million trillion bucks. If I can't just be with you, I'm only you. Yeah, I got one virtual, got one in that day. It's the only two, man. How many times have I shown and proved, man? How many nights I've been woke? <laughs> Y'all yeah, in mean, Walmart, this man got all these people peach cobbles. Cause he obsessed. And them things be hard to find. Or that brand be hard to find. So we should have got a buddy. I told you that when we came in here. Don't let me forget my mom Cheeto. You started. Oh, you to get you some, some oh, yeah. Try to make everything up. Start uh, eating my special K again. Got to be healthy. Trying to think I want some of these fruit snacks. Put some strawberry frosted things in. It's a excellent source of real fruit puree, so I'm gonna get that. Ooh, y'all. Zay, you be getting. Oh my god, you was crazy. I thought you All just. Those you tripping. tripping. He said the ones in the tall plastic bottle. Taste this. I want some coffee. But I need something with no caffeine. I'm about to try these. I'm about to try these, y'all. They're trying to talk to me. No, you was trying to say that I be saying, saying stuff with camera. I want a kombucha, but that's not the right brand. Oh, this girl told me to get a kombucha. And she said, help you get rid of your gut. And that's what I'm trying to get rid of. See those from my mommy. What is it? I don't see it. They don't never had nothing cute for my phone. What? Hey. Yeah, that's ugly. I'm gonna find a case. Okay. I don't know, case right now. That is my case. This is their case. Y'all look at my case, it's so cute. Yeah, all right. I'm about to tell you I'll be in my car. I'm gonna switch cars again. Put Nova car seat back there. This is the first time we went out without Nova, and I miss her. I'm eat so fast so we can get back. I ain't eat, bro. I am. Well, you gonna sit in and wait on me? <laughs> Say, come on, let's go. Show your case. Are you two parts of that? Yeah, I got extra protection. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. It's like a, what them thing called? Life, life proof. Them cases. Those shit used to be $100. They yeah, used to be a distillery. I don't know because I ain't even pay for this shit. You always trade case. Me, I used to do it all the time in middle school, trade cases with people. Yeah, you never did that. I used to, we used to do that all the time in Hampton. My case. I'd be like, your case hard, let me get that. And they'd be like, bro, this case too good, bro. You gotta give me two cases for this. Oh, <laughs> we used to trade cases all the time. My cases used to cost too much to be traded. That's why you gotta get more than one if your case real good. Don't look at my daughter. You're crazy. Oh, they got trash. They got trash in it? Trash in it? Hey, see, that's ghetto, bro. How is that ghetto? Man, we can't send this one, bro. Yeah, take you from different, bro. That's not ghetto. I'm using, I'm peeing y'all from y'all establishment. I can use that trash can. I want to bring this. 
but I'm gonna use it in the car. It's gonna get hot. Y'all should have put on my waist trainer. Let me show y'all. Like a buffet, and they got southern. Nah, but you put ice in. Oh, Daniel, some? Oh, but yeah, it's like southern food and stuff here. We ain't been here in a minute. But if we always snack, I got ribs. I want a chicken, but chicken. Oh, some ribs, some fresh chicken. Oh. All right, y'all. So me and Zay had got back from. Barnwell a little minute ago and I'm gonna go to my mama's house so I can I meant to get some clothes when I was there yesterday like to go in my outfits because some of the stuff I had in Columbia some of the stuff was there so yeah I'm gonna go get the rest of the stuff in my outfits I'm probably gonna get ready over here too because Mont Tiffany and her um girls or the three youngest they there so I'm gonna let them play and watch her while I get dressed and stuff and then um we gonna go to Zay's cookout well Zay's family cookout at his daddy house so yeah well, it's really a fish fry but same difference yeah I was thinking about drinking and stuff but I don't think I found enough like I have three ounces I have four ounces but she drunk a little ounce but say mama said she didn't want to drink the rest I'm really thinking like she over bottles like she just don't like them no more so yeah and I wasn't even planning on drinking but everybody keeps asking me like are you drinking are you drinking and I'm just like I don't know if it's like peer pressure you know but I don't think I'm gonna drink I'm gonna just watch everybody else have their fun and I'm gonna be the VD and yeah but um yeah so I'm gonna show you when I get to my house I gotta get my clothes for tomorrow and today I don't know what I'm wearing today I want to be kind of cute but not super cute because like I know I'm not probably gonna take pictures today but I just need to give out an update because we done got back here every day those in the back seat she's being quiet like I had her sitting in the car for a little bit because Sean and Kay came to the house and she wasn't even crying because I just fed her so she like nice and content right now so yeah I'm loving it and I ain't even got her dressed for the day yet because, y'all, I did not even tell y'all. Why, when we got to my house yesterday, I go to take out the car seat. Miss Ma'am shit it in her car seat. And then, I was being so fast, like, trying to get her um, diaper bag and her clothes and stuff out of the car. That had lost the keys. I couldn't get back in the car because I didn't have the keys to unlock it. So, the poop kind of, like, sat there until, like, later on that night when my mom got her other set of spare keys. And I had to clean it out. It was raining and all. And I was cleaning it out in the rain. But yeah, she pulled in her car seat. Literally, it's so hot that the damn sun and dry her car seat up already. And it was bad. Like, I don't know if I put her pimple on wrong or what. But yeah, Miss Mel got pulled in her car seat. And she ain't even two months yet. I was thinking, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about that. No. But um, yeah, I had got clean up and everything. But literally, when I got there, I had to clean her up. Because like, everybody's like, oh my God, no, but I want to hold you. I was like, nope, she got shit all over her. Like, y'all don't want to hold her right now. Let me clean her up first. But yeah, I'm probably show y'all like my cousins and I'm holding her because they be, you know, all over the over. It's so cute. I remember when they was babies and now I got a baby. It's crazy. But yeah, um, I'll shout when I get home. Hey, boo. And now I got I'm dead. Hold him and like this. Hold him like this. And now I have a baby. Don't try. You can't see. Move your behind. I'll play. Oh, how is she looking at you? She like. Hey, boo. No, boo. about a boo. Is it boo Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hold her like they did? Oh, dude, just hold her. She's good. But why are you feeding the baby too much? And my feet on her too much. Yeah. Alright, y'all. So I'm in my, um... Outhouse. This is my side. Let me set the camera up. This is my side over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my closet clean out. So I'm gonna do that house now because I'm trying to find my skirt for my outfit for tomorrow. Um, and then I don't know if I'm gonna do my closet in my room today or not too because I'm actually supposed to be getting ready right now and I'm gonna be high key late as fuck. But um, yeah. So these blue bangs is the ones that my mom said I got clothes in. So I'm gonna go through them. Basically, I'm going to get rid of all the clothes that don't fit me no more. Um, that's not my style anymore. And because I'm a mom, you know, I have certain, I want to say body insecurities, but body insecurities that um, I'm not comfortable showing off right now. So some things I just don't want anymore. So yeah, some things give away, some things I'm going to sell, some things just on the trash. So 
yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go through this i'm gonna do a time lapse my phone is dying so if you get cut short then that's why This is my turn stuff. And I got purses and all this. My Telfair bags. I was looking for them yesterday. The other day. This one in Telfair bags. The other one's still in the package. And I was missing them. But yeah. Making progress. I don't went through a few of them. stuff time keep so far we'll take that with me so give away your trash and then i organized everything that is not in use so in pajamas winter more winter maternity and purses and these are shoes i don't know what bag i'm putting them in this stuff i'm not gonna take in my room oh yeah let me keep this too all right y'all so i did everything in here except for these three right there i can't get them off the shelf so i'm gonna have to wait till i'm gonna get back and then i'm gonna do them and i'll probably do those later on tonight because i gotta get ready for the cookout and i gotta close in my room that i need to go through too but i'll see if i got time to do that before i go to the cookout if not i just do it later too but you can tell you girls hot sweaty but i got a lot done just now so yeah i'll see how i'm done getting ready all right y'all so if my face look greasy that's because it is um i put some vaseline on it because i really am tired of my skin being dry as fuck but um i just want to give y'all updates here girl is dressed i put on this little off the shoulder shirt but miss novi is feeding so that's why i look like that right now but um yeah so i'm just waiting because i told Zay to get her outfit and her extra bottle from his house and then we're gonna meet up at the cookout but um yeah i'm dressed I was trying, well, I was hoping to go through a little bit more clothes in my room because I started to go through um, the clothes in my closet, the clothes in my drawers. And I had this basket right there, but I just went through that. And so basically everything that was in there, I'm going to end up selling. It was only like three pieces that I took out that I'm not going to sell. But yeah, so maybe she finished eating before Zay um, leaves. I can finish going through the clothes in my closet. But um yeah, I probably just end up going to the rest of this stuff tonight and tomorrow. I just need to give y'all an update. But yeah, next time y'all see me, I'll probably be at the cookout. But my auntie, she was watching her while I get ready. I swear, like, it's impossible for me to get ready. Like, by myself. If I don't have no help, it's damn near impossible. Or I end up looking like shit. I feel like myself again, though, y'all. Because I did my edges. Put a little scrunchie on. Got a little fit. I gotta put on my sneakers when I get there. But yeah, I feel like myself again, so... Yeah, uh -huh. but I'm excited to go. We'll share on over, but she's eating, so can't show y'all that. All right, y'all, so I'm finna leave. I just want to give y'all a quick update. So this whole hamper is stuff that I am selling. Um, This jacket, I'm going to see if I can get it clean. Giving these two things to, to friends. Y'all got a Shein haul coming up soon, so pay attention. Keeping this little thingy right here. Um, These bras, these are just extra bras, but um, going to keep those. This pile, I'm giving away. This bra, also keeping just extra taking these shirts back with me to columbia i think i'm gonna sell these jeans so i'm gonna put them over here um this shirt this was what i had on earlier i changed my outfit i'm gonna show y'all but um i think i'm gonna keep this shirt so i put that in my other crop tops and i don't go through that drawer and i don't really need to go through that drawer but yeah so keeping these jeans shorts i'm keeping them actually take these with me to cola um this stuff is novies these are some nursing bras that's their shirt i'm putting this on when i get back <laughs> and all these clothes on here i'm keeping this stuff i'm giving away don't know what i'm gonna do about this big shirt yet but that is the update all right y'all so as y'all can hear miss novi is crying and zay is ready 
to meet up so yeah i'm gonna share my outfit right quick and then we going all right so if y'all know me i always change my outfit so i changed it to this just because i feel like it's more summery and cute this shirt i don't know where it's from but zay actually gave me this this was his brother's shirt but i just thought it was cute and got a big design on the back and i'm putting these denim cutoffs from forever 21 and i'm surprised i can still fit them but yeah so i'm putting on this with my fours i'm putting my fours on in the car about to grab novi we're gonna change our outfit when we get there but yeah so let's go Guys, they got some drip. Guys, little hair don't know how to act. Guys, little Father's Day gift. Yeah, I feel it's cute. You a little poso baby. You a little 48 baby. Got a little candy in a pocket. She gonna take off like a Father's Day. Happy Juneteenth. I ain't got no kids. You don't got no kids. Boom. She for the streets. Okay, y'all, so quick update. It's Monday. Um, I never talked to y'all when we got to the restaurant, but we went to Longhorn. We did actually end up getting seated. I was looking at back at restaurants because I was scared it wasn't going to seat us, but yeah, we ate. I got some, um, and I actually ended up having like five different things to eat. So I actually have leftovers. I'm going to eat them now. Shrimp, rice, and steak. Um, literally, I couldn't even finish my whole shrimp kebab because Nova was hungry, so I was nursing her and I couldn't like peel the tails off. So yeah, I'm going to eat the rest of my food. Um, today well, it was like four or something right now um literally i just been editing in the bed all day um i just left zay's house i came here by myself so that i could finish doing my closet clean out go ahead and get ready and then i'm gonna go back to him and novi 
But um, I just decided to leave her there because I knew she came with me that I probably wasn't going to be able to get much done. So, yeah. Your girl's going to have some little solo time. Very rare that I get this. So I'm going to eat my food. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the closet clean out. And then um, get ready and meet back up with Zay and Nova. And we are leaving tonight because she has an appointment tomorrow. So, we have to leave tonight. And I want to take out these braids tonight just because, like, I don't know. It's getting a bit much to do all these edges. And y'all can see they crusty and stuff and plus um these braids they're just getting old i'm ready to take them out i think i'd rather do my natural hair every day so yeah i'm gonna try and take these out tonight as well if i have time but i just want to give y'all a quick update because y'all ain't seen me since last night and i didn't even talk to y'all so yeah everybody so i made it back to our art house um these three bins were the ones that i didn't get to the other day because i was do kind of reach them and y'all know how to get ready for the cookout and yeah i don't know the shirt messed up i don't it's not it don't dry up but y'all was <laughs> leaking real bad this morning but um yeah, so I'm finna go through these three bins right quick. Um, I already showed y'all how to organize the rest of the stuff, but as y'all can see, like it's already more space over there. And by the time I get everything like really together together, it's gonna be even more space. So yeah, I'm gonna finish out here first, and then I'm gonna take um the bins that I'm going to sell or the things I want to keep and take me to Columbia. So like summer stuff, stuff that I couldn't wear when I was pregnant. That stuff I'll be taking with me to Columbia to keep, and then the stuff that I want to sell. I'm gonna bring all that in the house, then I'm gonna go to my closet and my drawers in the house, and then I'll be all done with going through clothes. And I'm not sure when I'm gonna go to um, the thrift store to sell my stuff. I need to go through my clothes in Columbia, and that won't take me super long. I'm not sure if I'm, I probably won't do it tonight, so probably like tomorrow or Wednesday is when I'll do go to the thrift store and all that. But yeah, so I'm gonna do this stuff right quick. I'm gonna do another time lapse for y'all, okay? Yeah, savage, why you trapping so hard? Why these niggas capping so hard? Why you got a 12 car garage? Why you pulling out these rappers cars? Cause these niggas pussy in them hard. I turn it fucking soft into some hard. I grew up in the streets without no heart. I'm praying to my Glock in my car. Alright y'all, so I finished. So I'm about to go over the little pause that I made. So this is this whole bin right here. Stuff that I'm selling. Um, this bin is winter tops, winter sweatshirts, winter sweatpants. These are winter sets. Maternity right there. These are bags still, winter pajamas. This is starting to take with me to Columbia. These hoodies I gotta go hang up in the hoodie closet. These jeans, they're all like the same type of jeans, basically. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them or um, not yet, so that's why I have them in a the pile separate. This stuff, giving a, well, really I'm throwing trash because all that stuff is super messed up. Um, this I'm gonna put back in my room. This is brand new, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it because I'm not gonna use it. Um, like it's too big for me. I have three random pair of socks in there, and yeah, uh, honestly, y'all, I'm gonna have to go through this pile for Columbia again. Is that a fly? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through that pile again because I just felt that's too much to take to Columbia. So after I go through the stuff in Columbia, um, I'm gonna go through that pile again and decide like, what I'm really gonna keep and what I'm really gonna take or not. But yeah, so I am officially done with out here, so I'm about to go ahead and go in the house and finish up. Alright y'all, so I'm actually in Nova's room because my jackets are still in here. Mom has been on my hand about cleaning out the jacket closet, so I'm about to go through the jackets first. I'm not sure if I can find a good angle for y'all. Let's see. Alright y'all, so I'm about to go ahead and start with these jackets, and then we're going to go into my room. I sit back and read like head in the head. 21 Savage, the cat with the mat. 21 Savage, not boys in the hood, but I pull up on you, shoot your ass in the back. Stew a little hurdy nigga, some racks. I can feel the cheese, bitch, I got racks. I'm a real street nigga, bitch. I so these are the parts that I have. Those two jackets I'm going to take with me to Columbia because they match some shorts that I have. This is the part that I'm selling. Hopefully they take winter stuff right now too. These jackets, um, they have to go in the outhouse because they go with some of my winter sets. And then these are the two jackets I need to hang up. I'm not one of these niggas banging on wax. Pussy niggas love sneak this until I pull up on them, slap them out with a fire. What's your mama house? What's your grandma house? Keep shooting it till somebody die. So many shots, the neighbor looked at the calendar. Thought it was 4th of July. You was with your friends playing Nintendo. I was playing around with that fire. Alright, y'all. So I think I told y'all the other day when I was here, I already went through some of the stuff. So this pile is stuff that's going to be given or given away or thrown in the trash. This jacket. So these three jackets got to be hung up. This stuff I'm taking with me to Columbia. This stuff I'm selling. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell this or not. I think I'm trying to sell that too. Some of the stuff I don't even know if they're going to want. But I'm just going to sell it. Like try to sell it. And if they don't want it, then I'll like throw it in the trash and give it away. And then this last pile over here. 
or the last two piles. These things are winter clothes, so I need to put them in the outhouse. And then I have like these t-shirts. I don't know what I'm doing them yet. Um, but yeah. So now we are finally making our way to the fucking closet. So I don't know if y'all can tell, but my closet is like super duper empty compared to what it used to be. So um I'm finna go through this pretty quick. So I actually just went ahead and called my mom because I decided that some of the shoes that I have, I've been saying for the longest that I want to sell some shoes. And I still haven't like went through like my sneakers yet just because that's just gonna be a more emotional, um, drawn out process. I did go through three pairs of sneakers I have. But I went through some slides and some sandals and um flats that I had and decided what I want and keep what I don't want to keep. I'm about to go through purses right now. So like this purse, no, I'm not gonna keep. This purse, no, because I have a real one now. This purse, not new anymore. So yeah, I'm just cleaning out my whole entire room like getting it clean clean got a few purses over here that i'm gonna go through and yeah so i was thinking that it wasn't gonna be that much stuff that i'm selling but i forgot to have a whole hamp over there that's already full and then all the stuff that's on the bed and the stuff that's in there it's probably gonna be like three boxes full and yeah so i'm excited to see how much money to give your girl i'm excited to see i was going to sell some of this stuff on my um instagram page betty thrifty too but i decided not to just because it takes a long time for me to take the pictures and it just takes a lot more time to like do orders instead of me just going to somewhere, giving them my clothes and being done with it. So that's why I decided to do it this way, just because I wanted something super efficient and easy. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and pack up these boxes. All right, y'all. So this is what it came down to. So one of these tubs is the stuff that I'm taking to Columbia so I actually wear. Other three tubs is stuff that I'm selling. And then I have this hamper basket filled of shoes. It's like sneakers, sandals, slides. Um, and I have a few bags in there as well. And then I have a Shein bag, um, box. This is obviously, I have to put this for a haul. I cannot fit this stuff in my car. And I don't even want to try and try and fit it in Zay's car. So my mom is going to bring this stuff to us tomorrow. All right, y'all. So since my mom is going to bring me that stuff tomorrow, um, I'm going to either clean out my closet in Columbia tonight or tomorrow morning. So that by the time my mom come, I have everything ready. And she can pick me up and we get the last box of clothes. And then we take on the Play-Dohs and done okay y'all so it is literally 7 13 um, i'm just leaving my house it took me a lot longer than i thought it would to like get through all my clothes and stuff but i'm just glad that i'm all the way done with the clothes at that house i don't know i think i just dropped it off and they let me know in a few days of my offer is so yeah i'm just ready to get all this stuff out of my hands that's why i decided to do it this way because i don't have to worry about selling it to multiple people and all the stuff like that like it's just one time thing drop it off all i gotta do is pick up the baskets and stuff and i'll be done so yeah i'm glad i finally got it done honestly speaking when i came down here i meant to get like so much more done y'all seen that i wanted to film a machine haul but um i'm gonna have to like wait to do that stuff because you know it's already time to go back but um yeah i did get the most important thing done which is the closet clean out because literally if you ask my mama i'm putting that off for weeks so she's probably really happy that i finally got it done don't get me wrong it's more space than the outhouse and more space in like my closet and my drawers but like she was really complaining about nova's room being full of my clothes and babe it's still pretty full so i don't know hopefully she's happy with what i got rid of i did get rid of a lot of clothes i mean three buckets or three tubs is a lot so yeah and the shoes i just got rid of because literally i've been getting shoes while i'm in columbia too and i had just enough shoe boxes for the shoes that i have and i love so i'm trying to like balance it out and i'm pretty sure i'm still gonna have to get rid of some shoes plus i'm just like getting more mature y'all like i used to get things just because I like them and now I'm realizing like just get stuff if you love them because a lot of times I get stuff that I like I wear it once or twice and never again and that's just a waste of money and space so yeah um, I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious as far as buying stuff just because ain't nobody got the time or the money for all that and then it's just like you want a closet that makes you happy look at it literally when I was going through some of that stuff I'm like why do I still even have this in there and even some of the stuff I didn't like that much I was still like struggling to throw away there's probably still some stuff in there I could have got rid of it's so hard for me to get rid of stuff but I did a good job I think I've been feeling like a little unproductive because like I said I didn't get everything that I wanted to get done while I was down here and I haven't went to the gym since say left which was like Monday night no Tuesday night because I didn't have nobody to watch Nova so I could go to the gym I'm actually dressed to the gym I have like this black unitar thing it's like a rumper though and then I brought my pretzels with me because these are my favorite, favorite, favorite sneakers to like work out and stuff. And like, I just love them. They're so tight on my feet and they're like really, really comfortable. So yeah, I'm so excited to go to the gym. I don't care if I gotta go at 12 at night, I will do it. Cause I don't know, it just feels really good and helps me feel productive. And y'all you know, I'm trying to get my body snatched. So yeah, but um, 
I just want to give y'all an update. I'm on the way back to Zay's house. He's probably going to be ready to leave or close to ready to leave when I get there. So, yeah. Um, I'll probably see y'all when I get back to Columbia. I don't really have nothing else planned for down here. And we're definitely leaving tonight. So, yeah. Hey, girl. Like that. Hey, girl. I don't know what you did with me when I was here. Good God. So take me out of here. I'm going to put a little comfort thing right there and I'm going to roll her around that thing in the yard. That's what a stroller's for. That's better. All right, ready? So, obviously I'm back in Columbia. Um, it is 3.22. Um, I did show y'all I went to the gym earlier this morning. I done got ready and stuff. I just wanted this t-shirt though because I was tuning in the bed. We had chick fil for lunch, but my girlfriend go through the closet here because my mama is coming to get me so we can take the rest of this stuff to Play-Dohs. And we're going to switch the cars out today as well. So, yeah. We're going to go through these clothes right quick. And I'm going to be done with my closet clean out. Close your eyes to get away Just make my mind and I'll arrange it Beautiful, girl, you're stainless You'll be fine, I'll be painless, yeah Alright y'all, so this is all the stuff that I decided that I'm going to be selling. Um, I only got one purse, but then I got bikinis, a blazer, a hoodie, sundresses, polo tees, some hair figure tees, and yeah. So I'm about to fold this stuff up, find a hamper to put it in, and then I'm going to show y'all when we get to the store. All I'm drinking is champagne. All you want is the same thing. All right, y'all. So as y'all saw, we done made it to Play-Doh's, y'all. I went in there. It was like five other people in there also selling. And it's crazy because me and Zayden went there several times before. All the times we went there, never seen nobody selling. But um, I guess everybody got the same idea. Like, we selling our clothes, period. Period. It was a bunch of people in there. And they told me it's going to take like an hour and a half to two hours for my buy. Which, honestly, I was like... Bitch, what? Because I was going to have to come back tomorrow or something. So at least I don't have to come back like another day. But um, my mama, she came to help me bring the stuff, like I told y'all. And um, she said she didn't go to Lowe's. So Novi's in the back seat with me. I was going to leave her with Zay, but I didn't want to get hungry. And I didn't have any bottles, so I brought her with me. So we're just going to kind of talk about my mama until it's ready. They said they'll text my phone when it's done. So yeah, I literally had six tubs. I should have showed y'all all of them at one time. But um, yeah, I had like four tubs and then two hampers. One hamper was from the stuff in Columbia. The other hamper was my purses and shoes from home. So, yeah. Um, and another thing that I didn't know, she told me that um, basically they pick what they want. <laughs> I kind of assumed that they just going to get everything and just kind of give you like a price for everything. You know, baby, they pick what they want. So, um, yeah. So, I'm actually going to be going back with some stuff. But anything that I don't want, I'll probably just end up send it back home with my mama and she can sell it or give it away whatever she feels is best and yeah but um i don't know it feels really good just to get that stuff out i started this shit since i was like nine probably where i just like reinvent myself and a big part of me reinventing myself is reinventing my style and so i've changed styles like if you know me from like middle school elementary school i used to dress preppy um in country like georgia boots and nike shorts every day like that that was my type of shit and like j crew all that stuff obviously i don't dress like that no more um i had a little i don't want to call it edgy phase but like flannels was my thing once upon a time um and now i'm very much you know a baddie i feel like being a baddie is like my truest form but I don't know, I just want to kind of change my style a little bit, so that's why, I, that's another reason why I want to sell clothes. Not only because, you know, my mom was begging me to, but also, your girl style has changed. And if y'all know me, I have an expensive taste, so why not use the money from my old clothes to buy new clothes? Duh. If something interesting happens, I will let y'all know. Man, has got me looking at cleaning stuff in here. Ma, this is the one from TikTok. Like, you know this shit is viral on TikTok? It's supposed to be, like, really good for washing dishes and stuff like that. Scrub daddy? Scrub mommy and daddy. Oh, that's cute. Yo. I don't know which one I want. Get both. It says sock. You said only $8. For both. Oh. Dual-sided scrubber and sponge. Ooh, I like this. I'm going to get sponge daddy. Oh, I like this one, too. 
Y'all didn't see those today. You see she got her Jordan socks? They picked them out. You be showing her? By the time this video go out, they'll see her. I ain't showing no more on uh, Instagram though. This shit is hard for us. That's when I'm about to get one. I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna get the money. Cause I'm, I'm get a mom. Bag. But Ooh, the race I want some dishes. You know like I love dish stuff. Cause you know I'm obsessed with dishes so. Fuck Ma, you let me tell you something so funny. Huh? You know this thing you got, you gave me? The toilet bowl cleaner. You know, I just realized I was a toilet bowl cleaner like a month ago. The whole time I've been doing it with my hands. Yeah. Okay, y'all. I think I'm going to get this dish one. No, so my mom got me spinning. But I guess she's putting on you. No, we so damn snake. Ooh, this kind of be good for the shower. Which one should I get? I don't know if I want this one. Or this one. What's this? I got bottle scrubbers. Plenty of those. I think I'm. Mom, what you think I should get? For the shower. I would get the one to handle it. This one? Yeah. That's what I got home. I just got this one because it had a soap pencil. I want to see me get this one. And it's a for the towel and grab the water. So. Yeah. Okay, y'all. I need some more dryer sheets. So I'm going to get. Let me get this one. Cause it's natural. Oh, this one. Yeah, this one cheap. Let me get this one. And they got scent beads. Oh, no, it's not. I'm gonna just get this one. The same brand. Oh, this thing's got stuff in there. Y'all, I found a spice rack. Well, my mama found a spice rack. And I need one so bad. I'm going to show my pantry. And she's showing me all this stuff. Look at the things that turn around. Look at it. Look down there. Lazy Susan. That's what they call it? Yeah. When I get my new apartment, I'm going to redo my fridge. That's for real. And look at this. This is $20. I don't need no more of those. I don't need tough oil. Oh, familiar. Oh, my aunt. Yeah, she look at my hair I want to get this stuff. But all this stuff is looking so dusty. I'm gonna find this cheaper somewhere else. But I wanna get it. I don't know. Looks. Oh, this is a set. See, this is what I need. There's only five pieces in here. Something like this. And then all those. Y'all, yeah, part of growing up, I swear to God, you get excited about like adult shit. Like, an organized fridge and a clean house. Like, for real. Maybe the little things now. You could really spend a band in here. <laughs> yeah. I'm a black woman in America. This is all to, I like a lot of shit. Having a lot of shit, you have to have the right totes. What do I mean by tote? <laughs> oh, sorry. T O T E, tote. Never seen before, guys. Tote for three dollars and forty-five cents. Y'all, they got these cold shower cooling towels. I'm finna get them. All right, y'all, my camera died, but I'm gonna get these. So, like, if I'm in the rush after I get out the gym, I can just wipe off. Right, so I can just wipe my breasts off with this empty note. I'm gonna get another one. Cause my mom was gonna get two. They said they use them in Afghanistan, so they got to work. All right, y'all. So I'm leaving Plato's closet now. Um, I didn't show out when I went back in there because literally it was so quick. She just kind of ran through things and told me like what was wrong with the pieces that they couldn't or didn't take. And then um, she told me like where else I could take the rest of my pieces, y'all. I gave them six containers total. And I think they only got two containers full of stuff. And then one of the containers, I'm looking at it. Cause like, she's like, do you wanna look through your stuff? And at first I was like, no. And then I was like, yeah, because I was gonna record it for y'all. But literally it wasn't like I could take them out. Cause she said, you know, they had them folded and like ready to like go out a certain way or whatever. Y'all, I'm looking through some of the stuff. I'm like, hell no, I want to keep this stuff. I totally forgot that one of the bins was stuff that I went to bring me to Columbia. So some of that got mixed in with the stuff that I was like taking to sell. 
but um i took the stuff that i want to keep out and literally it was like i don't say expensive ass shit but like them pack sun jeans that they got me in florida he paid like 50 dollars for them and they gave me like when she took off that stuff it was like 40 40 or 30 dollars but it was like a bunch of pieces yeah no i got rid of two bins and it came out to like 90 dollars when it was all said and done i think that's good for two bins but like the fact that she was only finna give me well not she but the fact like that they were only finna give me like 30 well 30 dollars for like some brand name brand new spanking pieces just goes to show like you don't get your money's worth and i knew like i wasn't gonna get my complete money's worth but damn so yeah um my mama is still gonna be having to go back with what four bins four bins two laundry things and i'm trying to figure out if she can fit all this in my car but i'm gonna take the car seat out so she should hopefully be able to but yeah so we on the way back to my house now what i think i'm gonna do is because it's 6 50 so it's like basically seven o'clock i think i'm gonna go ahead and switch the cars around because i just need to go ahead and get this done and then um me and zay and nova i don't know if we're gonna eat in or not but me and zay want some japanese food so we're gonna get takeout or go in and have a little date or whatever but um yeah so when i get back to the apartment i'm gonna go ahead and switch these cars around get everything taken out get everything situated or whatever and then yeah but um just want to give out update on a little closet clean out thing i'm not gonna lie y'all if i'm being honest it was a fucking fail because i thought like i'm gonna get all them clothes off of my hands i did not know that they rejected shit and they rejected a lot of my stuff and it wasn't even a thing like some of my, like the shoes yeah like i can get that but um they said some stuff like with she and stuff they was being pretty selective about just because they get so much so yeah that kind of explains it because a lot of my stuff was she in well a good bit of my stuff was she in so yeah i guess i should have me switching the cars around and then whenever i get some japanese food but y'all when i tell y'all it's so fucking hot like it don't make no sense how hot it is and i have on shorts and a t-shirt and i'm still like so fucking hot so yeah girl will definitely be staying the fuck inside this summer god it's so fucking hot but yeah um i'll see y'all when i get home Ten thousand building, get your ass an apartment, put you inside a G class. That's just a starter kit. Plenty things count in life, but none of them is a thought of it. New piece around my neck is chess games. The shorty stay with calculated moves like Beth Harmon. Swear I'm more purple rain prince than Prince Charming. Disappointment, I stay expecting it. The pessimists, gold medalists, flush the magnets just so they not collecting my specimens. Damn. So this is all the stuff that I brought into the apartment. I'm gonna do this when we come back because me and Zay are gonna go to dinner. I got all the stuff up in my room and do the kitchen. Um, organize the little spices and put the kitchen cleaning products up. So yeah, God damn when I get back. Or something. I ain't count all of them because it's his bed. Let me count your braids. Alright, 
Alright, got them all cut. I'm gonna start from the very tippy top. First question is what other hairstyles are you going to try this summer? I don't know. I kind of want to do like a ponytail, a super ponytail. But if I do that, I'm probably doing my real hair and not a frontal. And I also been thinking about getting half up, half down, like quickly type thing. I haven't really been feeling frontals late, lately, but we'll see. Those are the only things I can think of. And there's some braids that I want, but those are like the only things. I'm not really, the whole reason why I'm taking out my hair is because y'all know that my curl pattern is messed up. But I realized like, because my hair is stretched now, I feel more confident wearing it out. So I'm going to try to give where my natural hair go and like not really for a week or two. Maybe even longer than that. Depends on how it goes. So yeah. Favorite foods. Um, my favorite foods. Shrimp always been like my favorite favorite. I'm starting to like salmon a lot. I like avocado. Hmm. Ooh, I love corn on the cob. Like that's become. Like I always ate it. But now it's like a favorite. And I have Mexican street corn. So I love that shit. Um, carnitas with the sauce. If you ain't got the sauce, I don't want it. Those I would say are probably like my favorites. Somebody said how's your mental health? I would say better. I think when I was pregnant, like of course my emotions were high, but I just feel like a lot more calm and like kind of back to my normal self. Um, I am back on birth control, so that like kind of affects a little bit, but I would say I feel better than I did when I was pregnant, honestly. Favorite meal to cook? I don't cook. What? So, I would say nothing, but if there is something I'll make that I like, it's the Kourtney Kardashian salad that she ate from Sweet Green. It's like chicken, well, it's like orange chicken. Um, and it has like lemon juice, sesame, not, not sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, romaine lettuce, um, Carrots, cucumbers, and avocado in it, and it's really, really good. Um, how have you been? Uh, good. I'm trying to like work harder and be more consistent with YouTube and Instagram and working out and just in all aspects of life. I'm just trying to level up and stuff. So yeah, that's how I've been, y'all. What's your favorite part about being a mommy? I guess like going from talking about like having a baby to being pregnant and to not actually like having her and seeing her like in real life and seeing her move and stuff is crazy and just like watching her grow because like just now she woke up and she was trying to flip over and that shit was so cute and like one day she gonna be able to flip over and roll over and that's gonna be so cute like just watching her advance and grow up and i know sooner or later i'm like oh my god well i really feel like she grows too fast but i'm like oh my god you're a teenager Sooner or later, like that's how fast they grow, it seems like. So, yeah, just watching her grow. And I love when she smiles. It's not often that she smiles, but when she smiles, that's my favorite part. How do I like college so far? I would say it's like a love and hate relationship. I love my school and I love things about college. Like, I love being on my own and kind of like finding myself or whatever. But there are some things I don't like about college, like. I'm still always going to tell you about that meal plan shit. Like, you know, college is a joke. So, the whole meal plan thing, some of my teachers, I don't feel like they get paid um, what they should get paid because I don't feel like they be teaching me. And college can be like, really stressful and time consuming. And I'm like nervous about how that's going to go with Nova. But I know what I'm there for. And, you know, it's my last year, so I'm going to tough it out. But it's a love and hate relationship. I love learning about. My major and my minors because those are things I'm genuinely passionate about but you know it yeah, has its ups and its downs it's cool overall I say and if you got your college it's very important that you like really weigh out your options and stuff because you don't want to make your own choice I definitely could say like even though I have you know my thoughts about USC I do think that that was a perfect school for me to go to like still like I really took my time and thought about it and I'm glad that I came here because I don't regret being here do you miss your long nails? Congratulations on Baby Nova. Yes, I do miss my long nails. I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, you know what? Your girl just might get her long nails back and see how it goes. I know I'm probably get like some long nails for my birthday or get press-ons or something. And so depending on how that goes with 
you know those ones then i might keep getting them but for right now i'm just gonna do short because i don't want to scratch her up because she got a scratch on my belly now and i'm pretty sure i think i'm pretty sure it came from me because they always cut his nails so yeah um, i definitely miss my little nails to give the bad bitch vibe but gotta keep them short for nova three things you're looking forward to in dream destination three things i'm looking forward to um i would say nova crawling like rolling over nova smiling and we're going on a trip um right before fourth of july so those are three things i'm looking forward to um my dream my dream destination people was asking me like what international places i would want to go to i really don't know because i haven't been to mexico and jamaica and i feel like those are like the basic places to go out of the country i don't know i kind of feel like i want to say brazil I don't know. I don't really have no like ideas for real. I feel like people just say shit because they hear other people say it. Like everybody's like, Bora, Bora, puta can. Baby, you wouldn't know that if it wasn't for a deer and I can. Like, be real about it. I don't know. I just feel like people just be saying stuff, just say it. So, I don't really know where I want to go. I think Brazil, um, Italy. I think Italy would be really nice because I love food and I just want to eat real Italian food. So, probably one of those places. What was the hardest thing about being a mom? I would say for me, it's like trying to balance things. I would say the hardest part about being a mom is wanting to be with her 24-7, but knowing that I have to be away from her sometimes. Like, sometimes I just need to be away from her for my, my mental health and for my sanity so, like, I don't lose my self-identity, but also sometimes I need to be away from oh, sure, her. Yeah, sometimes I need to be away from her so I can work and so I can work out and stuff and do things that I need to do for myself. So it's hard, like, kind of getting myself to realize that sort of stuff. But I know, like, you know, you got to do it. Sometimes I'm working, I'm like, bitch, you got to do this for an over, you know what I'm saying? So I say that's, like, the hardest thing, just being away from her and, like, feeling like, dang, I don't want to, like, be holding her and have my phone in my hand, but... I also know, like, my phone is my job, YouTube is my job, Instagram is my job, so I feel like sometimes I be thinking, like, oh my god, I'm missing out on this moment or whatever, but it's like, some people have to actually, like, go to work, and they can't be around their kids, so I have it really lucky, and that's all thanks to y'all, so thank y'all for supporting me and watching me and following me, because that allows me to be a stay-at-home mom and work from home and still get to be with her most of the time so yeah it's baby nova on the sleep schedule yet hell no literally me and zay we work on her time like everything is on her time when she wake up i wake up she go to sleep um if i'm sleep, i'll go to sleep but that's when i go and try and get stuff done but like we are on her schedule of course sometimes we might like try and put her to sleep but if she don't want to go to sleep she's not gonna go to sleep and it's the same thing with um waking up like when she sleep i don't know she ain't like she dead or something like you can shake her and she will not wake up so yeah we all on her time she has like a random schedule sometimes she'll sleep throughout the entire night sometimes she'll wake up four times three times two times one time so yeah it's no type of schedule right now and at this stage she don't really have a sleeping schedule so i'm not really tripping about it how's motherhood so far i would say great it's better than i could imagine People always be saying, like, I feel like bad stuff, like, oh, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. And somebody read me, um, made a YouTube comment, I'm read it to y'all. Girl, buckle up. Motherhood is no joke, lol. Shit, shit's about to get real. The emotional roller coaster is about to tax that ass. Once you start realizing all the shit going on in the world, and at the end of the day, you have no control and worry and concern over the safety of your child. Woo, child. So, at first, I was like, huh? But I don't think she meant to be, like, snappy or anything. But I don't, like, people... I'm not going to say they say motherhood is easy, but it's the most rewarding experience I've ever had. And I love it. Um, emotional, I had like one bad day since I had no one, and she's about to be two months. And of course, you know, I'm going to have more bad days, but I would say one bad, I want to say a whole bad day, but one bad breakdown um, over the course of two months. I can handle that once every two months. That's not bad. Um... So, I, I don't know, I feel like some people just kind of have like a negative view on parenting. And 
even me I'm not one of those people like I love it. Even when she's crying and she won't stop crying, I'm still here for it. So yeah. I do agree with her though. Like you can't have control over your baby. Like I be telling this like I'm gonna be so scared when she go to school even now with all the school shootings. It's like I can't control all that stuff, so that is scary, but you know, you can't control things. So yeah. Um just kinda gotta let things happen how they happen. How did you come up with your daughter name? I actually did not come up with Nova. Zay came up with Nova and he told me the name. And that was just the name that we both liked the most. Because I came up with a lot of names. He did not like none of my names. Like none of my names, y'all. And he came up with some names too. But that was the only name that we really agreed on. That we both really liked. And I was really big on picking a name that had some meaning to me. And I just felt like Nova was perfect for her because... When she was in my belly, she really would just be like dormant and then randomly move. And Nova means like a sudden burst of energy slash stars. So I just thought that was a really cute name because she really does just kind of have energy out of nowhere even now. And of course, my baby's a little star. Like, and when I say a star, I don't want y'all to think like, oh, you're going to make her do this? No, I mean a star, whatever she does. I don't care if she's a teacher. I don't care if she's a lawyer. I don't care if she is a garbage trash woman. She's going to be a star or whatever she does. So, yeah. Apartment tour. I would not give y'all apartment tour now because I'm filming about this apartment at the end of next month. But maybe my new one. I might give y'all apartment tour. Y'all got to let me know if y'all want to see that or not. Did you record you having a baby? Of course. It's Y'all already seen the labor and delivery vlog by then. How many months is Nova now? Today's the 22nd. So, basically two months. We were supposed to take the pictures for every month, but we forgot. So... I don't know if we're still going to do that or not. I told let's just do it even months since we forgot the first one. But, yeah, she's two months old now. Are you breastfeeding? Yes, I'm breastfeeding. When I first, I'm going to say this to all the expecting moms. Of course, we're going to build you a registry. But it's so much shit that we ordered that we don't use. And so much stuff that I didn't order that I needed. So, I would say, like, get the basics. Like, the basic basics. So, like, you, won't, you know you're going to need a diaper pill. You know you're going to need wipes and pampers. But like some stuff you just not going to need. You know I was feeling some type of way because my insurance gave me a breast pump that I didn't want. I literally don't even pump anymore. Like when I first started out I was pumping but it just got to be too much for me. And I always put on my breasts. Like of course I pump sometimes like if I'm away from her but I hand express as well. So you know just you don't never know like what you're going to need until you actually have the baby. So just kind of be selective about what you put on your registry and stuff because we end up wasting a lot of money getting things that we don't need hello motherfucker you got your back you don't need them plops Somebody said, how's breastfeeding going so far? I would say good. Um, I had one day when my supply was low. Because I didn't like eat anything until like 8 that night. So now I'll definitely eat meals throughout the day. And I drink water. And I drink body armor like when I go to the gym and stuff. So I've been good. I definitely do have a slacker boob. It's my right one. <laughs> so I kind of like am learning my body a little bit more. And stuff. But I'm getting like used to it or whatever. But... Yeah, breastfeeding is fine. I don't know why. Like, I hate to be like that mom that's like, you guys are tripping. But, like, people always say it's so painful and stuff. She ain't got teeth yet, but it don't bother me at all. Um, it doesn't hurt me at all. My nipples, I don't think I could even say they've been feeling sore or anything. So, yeah, I like breastfeeding. I like how close it makes us feel. I love how easy it is. I don't have to pump. I don't have to wash no bottles. I just, you know, pull my titty out and... I even do it in public, you know, I have a nursing cover or a big t-shirt on and I do what I gotta do. So, yeah, I love breastfeeding. It's been going really well for us. So, yeah, um, I'm really glad I can do that during the time when I'm like right now when there's a formula shortage. Um, we had to give a formula a few days when I wasn't around and it, she didn't like it. <laughs> and even now, it's like she don't even like taking bottles for real. So, yeah, how's being a mother like? I don't know, I feel like it's surreal, like, I really had this baby, she's really here, but it's it's a rewarding experience, and it definitely made me mature in the best way possible, like, when I be saying I sacrifice stuff for her, 
it'd be stuff that like you know you gotta sacrifice to level up in life you gotta like leave some people behind people and things that's not good for you that's what i had to do to become a mother it's nothing that i actually like, needed to be doing you know but just like some childish ways and people that I had in my life had to go and now i think i'm a much better person for it. like being a mom made me the best version of myself like literally it's just pushed me to do all these things that i've been wanting and needing to do but she gave me the motivation to actually do it and it's crazy because i used to be like so lazy when i didn't have a baby you would think it'd be harder now that i have a kid but now i'm like more productive and just better off now that she's here which is really ironic because you know you don't have a lot of time when you have a baby but you know I have a good partner and we get, we, you know, take turns and stuff so other people can do what you need to do. How are you doing mentally, physically, and emotionally after having a baby? You are talking about mentally, physically, I would say I'm good now because I'm like past six weeks, but the six weeks were definitely, um, they weren't easy. You know, some days would be really good, some days would be really bad, some days... I would be doing really good and then I would regress and have a really bad day. But physically now I feel fine. The only thing that's kind of like irregular is my fucking period. I don't know why I have a period. Because when you breastfeed it's supposed to like um, come later. But for some reason my period already came back. And I think it came back twice. Which if you do the math it's not bad. But um, yeah that's the only thing that's irregular and the only thing I don't like. I would say physically I'm doing better because of how I work out and it's a good release, it's just like a good stress reliever and it's just good to work out and stuff. But emotionally, I definitely have like some body insecurities and I share a quote with y'all and it just touched me how many of y'all like resonated with what I said but um, emotionally I would say I'm doing good besides some of the body insecurities. Um, I definitely say I'm happier. Um, and I would say more emotionally stable. I can control my emotions a little bit better than when I can still, you know, have my moments. But that's what I'm in therapy for, and that's what I'm working on. So, yeah. How's the baby? And what's your favorite color? My favorite color is Tiffany Blue. If you did not know, that is my favorite color. Um, the OG baddies know that because that's the color of my room. But if you just started watching me, you would never have seen my room back home, probably. So, yeah. Tiffany Blue is my favorite color. And how's Nova? I would say Nova's great. I did end up telling y'all, you know, that she had a heart condition. And since she's been born, um, you know, they've been checking on that and monitoring it. And they said she's doing fine. It's not really posing a threat right now. So even against the odds, she's still doing really well. Um, we went to her check appointment today. And the lady said that she looks good for her age. Like, she's nice and plump. So we finally got her weight up because we were struggling with that at one point. Um... But they said she looks good. She's doing things that she's supposed to be doing as far as development wise. So like turning her head and trying to move her feet so she can crawl. And she got a little shots today. So yeah, she's doing really well. I could not complain. I look at her all the time. I'm like, babe, you're so strong. Cause there was never like, oh, she might die. But um, I have anxiety and I always assume the worst. So then when they told me she had heart condition, I was like, oh my God, you know, just assume the worst. But she is a true champ. So, yeah, I'm so proud of her. And she's doing amazing. You're doing amazing, sweetie. But, um, yeah, so Nova's well. I'm well. None of y'all asked about Zay, but he's well. And, yeah, I'm going to take the rest of these braids out. Because I didn't answer all y'all questions. And I got two or three braid videos on here. And it seems like Miss Nova needs me.
Need a haircut, need a haircut, need a haircut. I don't think we got all this on the video anyway. What? They had them driving up too. Anybody didn't see all that? They saw you them on you show them you show people your whole day. No. No. Hey, all this mine? Oh, what? I thought this was going to be for real. No, for real. So I hang go. Come help? Oh, what? Take these breaks. Get a post in the other. Sorry. Alright, y'all, so I'm to got all of the breaks. And this is how it's looking right now. I want to comb it out with you, but I'm going to go to the gym. And that's when I'm going to wash my hair. So I'm like, should I even comb it out if I'm not going to wash it? Get some of the tingle in there, wash. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably see y'all at the alcohol my hair or we're gonna go to the chill. Alright y'all, this is my hair all combed out. It definitely grew. It's thicker. Time to go to the gym. Alright, I'll just start showing. And there's some air Still damaged. I'm gonna dry it off. Now I'm gonna show y'all whenever I start doing my hair. Alright, y'all, so my hair kind of dry, so I'm gonna put this pudding on it. And yeah. But it is officially officially damaged. The only other thing I could try is Ace Tech healing clay, and at this point, I don't even care, so it's gonna stay like this. I'm trying to eat healthy, but that shit about to be a lot of calories. Novi is gonna eat um, steak bites. Dairy Queen steak bites. <laughs> you get it for sure. <laughs> we also just had to put the car seat in Toulouse yesterday, so he's fixing it now. Anything you wanna say? A I see all I need to shop out the Gotta be something different. You must be made for me. Patience is nothing. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna see this because I need some pads, but they don't have honey pot, and that's the kind of really want to. Welcome. If you have your extra care, if you are finished scanning, please touch finish and pay. Hmm? I vlog. Yeah. Yeah. I give you a subscribe to came to the store. What was the bag? Hold on, hold on, fuck that.
Okay, lighting. All right, baddies. So it is the next day. It is Thursday, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all now. This is gonna be the last day of this vlog because it has literally already been. Well, today makes a week, so yeah, this would be a nice little weekly vlog for y'all. But I give you guys a major freaking update since last night. So first things first, y'all. I just had a period like a week, maybe two weeks ago, and I got another period, and it's like, babe, the whole point. I'm not gonna say the whole point of me getting pregnant, but like. One of the parts of being pregnant and having a baby is you don't have, oops, is that you don't have fucking periods. And then they say like breastfeeding is supposed to help you not have a period as well. I think it's my birth control that kind of triggered my period to come on, but like two times in one month, that's a little much, right? So I actually didn't even have any pads. We had to go get some pads last night while we were out getting food or whatever. And I was looking for a honey pot because um, I was using a washes and a wipes before I got pregnant and then while I was pregnant I realized that they had um pads too at the very end of my six weeks I started using a postpartum pads and I absolutely love them but the CVS I went to they didn't have honey pot pads so I ended up getting a brand called Cora they're organic as well so we're gonna see how that goes they're like really really thin I'm like babe you're giving liner but it's doing what it needs to do so yeah I just had to tell that because I love giving y'all TMI I don't know I just feel like y'all my girlfriends and y'all know we be talking about you know girly stuff or whatever so yeah um so that's from last night this morning i woke up and i was in a good mood at first you know playing with nova and everything and i didn't even tell y'all but i had ordered two pair of foam runners a black pair in the wrong size my dumb ass and then a nude pair the desert sand i think and so i got the black pair but they was in the wrong size so i already knew that i was either gonna sell them or trade them in so the new pair they said they had delivered on monday long story short i went to my leasing office they have not seen the package it's not in my mailbox it's not in the lockers it's nowhere to be found so i called fedex filed a claim and they was like okay we'll get back to you i missed their call this morning so i called back and the automated message thing was like oh um your case is closed well i don't have the fucking shoes in my hands so what do you mean the case is closed right so i call adidas thinking like okay well since fedex didn't really do anything i'm gonna call adidas i told her the situation basically she was like um they're gonna open their own case but nine times out of ten i'm just gonna be able to get a refund like if i don't get the shoes and it was fedex fault which it had to be um i'm just gonna get a refund i'm like babe hold up wait because i actually wanted the shoes i'm not like a reseller but y'all know that phone runners go for crazy high so it's like don't give me a fucking refund give me the fucking value and i know they can't do that but it's like that's why I need to give me the fucking shoes. I know y'all got some more phone runners hidden in some back closet. Like, give me the fucking shoes. Like, I was just, I don't know. I was feeling very emotional. And I still feel like I'm right. But I definitely do think, you know, me being on my period kind of contributed to it. But yeah. Long story short, I started crying. And I just was super upset. And I was like, I'm just going to sleep all day. I'm not going to eat. Like, fuck everything. I'm mad. Whatever. But I was like, you know what, bitch? You sleeping all day is not going to help. So I went to the gym, kind of released a little bit of my negative energy. That's why I didn't talk to y'all this morning because I didn't want to come to y'all with negative energy. But now um, my negative energy is gone so I can, you know, be all happy-go-lucky with y'all and not be faking it and not giving y'all a bad vibe. So, yeah. So with all of that out the way, now that y'all all caught up, um... Your girl's on the way to the sneaker store. I'm finna go to Cola Kids. I still don't know what I'm gonna do about the new shoes. I'm really hoping that somebody find a package or whatever. I hope that's not stolen. But like I said, the black pair are in the wrong size. So I saw that Cola Kicks, they have the right size that I need. So I'm gonna go trade those in. I might have to put a little bit of money with it because I got a size eight, a size seven is worth more. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna put too much money with it. Like probably 20, maybe $30 max, but nothing more than that, honestly. Yeah, so I'm hopefully going to get my Onyx foam runners today. And this will be my first time going to Cola Kicks um, in Columbia. I saw it. Well, I went to the one in Charleston at an outlet, and that was my first time ever going to any of the locations. But this will be my first time in a Columbia location. And then right across the street is Chick-fil-A because I have not eaten breakfast or lunch yet, and it is already 419. And Miss Novi came with me because um, she'd be giving Zay a hard time. Like, if I leave her with Zay... And she isn't full, even though I like literally feed her before I leave. She'll give him a hard time. So I was like, I'm just gonna bring her with me. Plus, he's like in class right now. So yeah, I just didn't want him to have to deal with all that. So yeah, um, I hope these 
people are giving me a good deal with the shoes. I'm going to go to Cola Kicks first so my food can still be fresh. I'm craving some macaroni, so that's really why I'm going to Chick-fil-A. And I'm going to get me a wrap today. I try to eat healthy the days that I work out, but um, I didn't want a salad. So I was like, I'm going to try a wrap. Hopefully that's just not nasty because I'm going to be upset and still hungry if I get a wrap and it's nasty. What the fuck is going on, y'all? I see so many police in Colombia, like, and they got their lights on. So, like, what's going on? Like, really, what's going on? I was going to go and get some curly hair products, but um, I saw this influencer. I literally don't even remember her name, and I wish I saved her post. But um, I saw this lady on Instagram, and she was using this um, curl CMOS stuff, and I just love the consistency of it. Like, she did A1 because she convinced me to buy the product. And so... I saw that and I was on their website stalking it and they had packages on sale like bundles where you can get multiple products for a cheaper price. Well, I was looking this morning and I just went ahead and bought the bullet and I bought a $45 bundle and it comes with like an edge control brush, the CMOS conditioner, the CMOS, um, what do you call it? What do they call it? Slime. That's why I was like, I want to try that on my hair. And it came with the oil, a edge control, and something else in it but it was like a really good deal i think and i was like bitch i am tired of i don't know i feel like i put so much money into weaves like braids and wigs and stuff like that and i put literally hundreds of dollars into those installs but i don't do the same for my natural hair so I was like, i'm just gonna give my natural curly hair some love and see how it goes for me i mean it's definitely flourishing without me giving it too much attention so i'm um try to go on like another natural hair journey i was really upset about my curls being damaged but now i kind of like it because i finally have like a length that i feel comfortable wearing it out like i don't feel like i look like a boy so yeah that is everything i need to update y'all on i feel like i've talked way too long i talked for eight minutes just not that's crazy well yeah so i'll see you guys when i get to the sneaker store we gone stop we good stop chill we on chill scale Let's go, let's go, Domingo, let's go, take, let's go, set, let's roll, strain it, strain it, strain it, yeah, strain it, strain it, strain it, yeah, don't not get strained but strain it, don't not get strained but strain it, don't not get strained but strain it, all right, baddies, so literally I went in a cool kicks and the fucking size seven is gone. I would think that they would put it on their page like you know sold or whatever but i don't know um i told him you know i have an eight and i'm you know looking to get off my hands and he was like next time just do a hold and they hold for an hour so yeah i'm gonna be like stalking a page to make sure that i can get my size seven i'm not mad as i thought i would be especially after like oh shit i went through this morning with the other pair but um i'm just trying to have like an optimistic mindset and be like you know what everything happens for a reason so it's the reason why you didn't why they didn't have a size um babe she seems to be okay i don't know why she started coughing um but yeah, so I'm trying to be optimistic that there's a reason why um, I couldn't get, you know, trade just now. But I'm definitely, like I said, going to be stocking their pages and stuff. And I asked him, he said they had no other seven, like no other phone runners, period, like in any other sizes. So that shit sucks. But, you know, if it's meant to be, it will be. I be forgetting that shit sometimes and I let like my emotions get the best of me. But for real, if it's meant to be, it will be. So your girl made it to Chick-fil-A now. Oh shit, how the fuck they don't tell nobody that they, y'all they closed the second lane. Oh my God. Thanks sis. Thank you. <laughs> you can pull up to the speaker box, I'll go down here. Okay. I'm um, gonna have a mobile order for Jocelyn Sanders. Okay, would you like to make any changes to this order? Um, no ma'am. Okay, have a nice night. Thank you, you too. Okay. Bruh. You know you started your day late as fuck when people tell you to have a nice night. I just got up. I just started being productive. Don't, don't tell me that. <sighs> Why can't I get my fucking shoes? But at least y'all got a vibe though. At least y'all got some good footage. But like, damn. <sighs> Hi. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, 
y'all, this is a pro tip. If you want a chick fil always go to the outside. If you want the inside and the person in front of you don't move, you stuck. But if you're on the outside, you can get past if you get your order before that. Like, and I always do because I do mobile, period. <laughs> Saves people time. They always be like, perfect, great. They love when you do a mobile order. So help them people out and do a mobile order, okay? I'm about to see y'all when I get back home. Your girl's kind of bummed because she couldn't get rid of her shoes. But it is what it is, okay? Okay, baddies, so it's been a few hours um, since y'all last saw me. I ate my lunch, and I'm working on cleaning up our room right now. Zay went to the grocery store with his cousin because he said he wanted to cook tonight. So I'm just trying to clean up the room, and I'm about to go ahead and start unpacking the stuff from the weekend. I know we woke up from her nap, so I'm going to see how much I can get done. But um, I already unpacked her bag and made up our bed. And clean up most, I clean up basically this side of the room. So got a little bit more stuff to do. So, yeah, I'm just about to clean up. Probably going to put a little time lapse in here. Um, I did my order for Walmart, but it's not going to be ready until tomorrow. Yeah. Just a little update for y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna empty out this thing. This is all the stuff we got from Lowe's. I'm gonna do my spice rack. Cause this is a before junk. I guess. Yeah. So I'm not with nobody. Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody. Did it over text, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. It's our girl, it's our day. Most of the things I don't wanna say. I won't be around while you chase. You'll try to come back when you fail. Yum. You say what? What's my lunch? Lunch, so. Should have had work. Could have taken you to work. <laughs> Alright, but so we ate dinner a long time ago. And then we was like watching TV and stuff. I was watching that bad sister's bad Tammy to be exact. But uh, I just came in the closet because I want to make sure I finish doing this by the end of this vlog. And that is get rid of this basket. So these are all the clothes that I brought with me from home. These are like summer stuff, things that I wasn't wearing. Excuse me, because I was pregnant. Um, so I had to like hang all this stuff up in my closet or put it in the drawers where it need to go at. I was thinking about showing y'all me cleaning up, but I don't want to keep dragging this video out. And I'm too tired to clean up the bathroom tonight. But um, yeah. So I'm going to hang up these clothes. Some of them I am going to try to make into outfits because like I told y'all my style is changing. And so some of these pieces I literally was thinking about giving away. But like now that my style has evolved, I know that I can like wear them or whatever. So yeah. Um, y'all seen I got everything that was in the blue. Um cart taking care of so. I always want the truth but it's that you got something real life you don't want to get with me stop yes I'm hurting yes I'm jaded alright y'all so I finished hanging up everything that I could in here this is what's up this side of stuff that's to me hang up. I literally ran out of hang this and this side of stuff I'm taking back home. So it was just two pair of pants. One is maternity. These are just too thick to be wearing in the summertime. I don't have space for them. But yeah, so the girl finished hanging everything up. Most of these things I don't want to say. I will be around while you chase. You want to hear me up when you make me. You try to come back when you're famous. Y'all so see, this is the secrets of the trade. I've used my other phone flashlight for um lighting, but yeah, I always just feel like my life too boring to be vlogging for a whole week. But hopefully, y'all found this week interesting. If so, let me know and I'll do more weekly vlogs like this. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I got everything done that I wanted to for this vlog. So if y'all like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you like me, let me know by subscribing to my channel. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, we can chat in the comments. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, baddies. Hey.